Has somebody told you you have an ungrounded outlet? Open ground, ungrounded, missing ground, it all means the same thing. It simply means your house was built before the mid-1960s when it was a two-wire system and they didn't have a ground. This is what the original outlets may have looked like. Is it a safety hazard? Well, it is deceiving because when somebody looks at it, they're going to assume it's a modern ungrounded outlet when there's no ground back there. Now you legally could put back in a two prong. They actually still sell these. I'll put all the links in the description down below, but it's inconvenient. Your three prong appliances will have a hard time plugging into that. So if you want modern three prong and to do it legally, this method will pass code certification and rental certification. You're simply going to update to a GFI ground fault circuit interrupter, GFCI outlet. This will give you fault protection if anything goes wrong and instantly trips the power. You can legally put these on ungrounded circuits as long as you attach the label telling people it's ungrounded and you'll be good to go. Now a GFI outlet is much larger than a standard three prong outlet. Look at the thickness differences. Look at the width. Now the reason is there's a lot of interior circuitry that's monitoring the ground and the neutral. And if there's an imbalance, it will assume voltage is leaking out and it will turn off the circuit immediately. Okay, so with the power safely off to the outlet you wanna work on, then you're simply gonna remove the outlet entirely. Okay, so the black and the white wire now will come off. Okay, now in your new GFI kit, in most of the kits, it will be provided the instructions, the cover plate, a Decora rectangle cover plate, the safety outlet, of course. Now on the bottom of your new safety outlet will be what's called the load side. Sometimes they have a sticker over that side. You may want to only use the line side no matter how many wires you have in the box because that will protect this one outlet since you may not know what downstream outlets are. So you're simply going to put the black on the brass colored screw, B to B, white on the silver screw. If you forget, also the black goes to the narrow side, that little side, not the longer side. Now, the modern GFI outlets, you need a straight wire. You don't need a curved wire. So you can either straighten them out with your pliers or you can just snip them. And they will actually just go straight in. They're really easy to use. It's a better side wiring design. That's the trend of all quality outlets. You no longer will have to make those little shepherd hooks anymore. Black brass, straight in, tighten that down. Any screws you're not going to use, make sure they're tightened down so they're out of your way. And then repeat the process over on the white neutral to the silver screw under that little tab. Before you push the new outlet back in the box, wrapping it with electrical tape is a good practice. You may have an old metal box that the new outlet could short against. Your new outlet is noticeably larger than your old outlet was, so that increases the chances of the hot screw terminals on the side rubbing against something. So with the electrical tape firmly in place, you're gonna fold and tuck your wires back in. When you're screwing this in, you do have some play there. You want to make sure your outlet is level or close to level so it looks good and normal. And in the instruction packet comes the two screws for the uh, cover plate as well as the safety stickers and those are going to be important. Let me show you. Power is restored. Reset your outlet. The manufacturer green light there means it is working. So you have fault protection, you have a three prong, technically open grounded outlet, but you're gonna label it as such and you will be in good shape. Hey, this is an easy home improvement project. I know you can do it yourself. Let me know if you have any questions at all down in the comments. Hey, I know you can do it yourself. We will see you next week.